<laughs> we are about to do the craziest thing that we have ever done as a family, and that is drive across the country. <laughs> yeah, man. We're hitting the road. As you've probably gathered from, I imagine the title of this video, and the boxes in the frame, we're leaving LA. We decided this about four weeks ago, and um, everything has moved really, really quickly ever since then. So I, <laughs> yeah, in case Bowie's you didn't know, here. Bowie's here. Okay. Hello. Welcome. LA for me always represented the place where dreams really could come true. There was some kind of magic in the air here whenever I read about it or came to visit it before I moved. All your dreams did come true here, didn't they? They did. They really, they really did. But you've completed LA. <laughs> That's what Josh keeps saying. He's like, if LA was a video game, you completed it. LA was the place where all of my dreams came true and more. So why? Why have we decided in the middle of a pandemic that it was a really good idea to pack up our lives and leave LA forever? I can't explain it other than like this calling in our hearts. In January, didn't I? I started talking a lot about leaving LA and being ready to go. In no. I started talking nothing in your teeth either. No. Um, this is the city I always dreamed of living in. And been, you had a baby here, she said. I had a baby here. This is baby. Yes, I had a baby. I was always really attached to being here. Yeah, you've definitely felt like an Angelina, haven't you? Yeah, massively. I think we both have in our own ways. We have. Which surprised me. I didn't really want to move here in the first place, to be honest. I came, mm -hmm. I did come here for you. Mm -hmm. I'd been here many, many, many times before we had met. But you were contracted to be here, so I was like, you know what? She seems all right. Let's crack on. It worked out. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. Um, did, didn't it? We won the lottery. I won the lottery in LA, basically. And we're very proud Angelinas. I think it's just... We will be leaving a piece of our heart here. Yes. And also some of our furniture, if you want to come and collect it. <laughs> For me, a personal struggle of mine has always been that I, I have a lot of pressure that I put on my own shoulders to to thrive and drive forward and get ahead and, and all of that stuff. and. And LA is very conducive to that kind of mentality. I think everybody here, you know, everyone comes to LA for a reason. It's usually a career driven reason if you're not from here. That's and nice, baby. there's magic in that. Um, and there's exciting opportunity in that. I'm not just that. talking to the floor, by the way. Bo is down there. Right. Um, there's exciting opportunity in that. But again, what this year of 2020 has shown us is that like, that ain't it, you know? That's that's not what you're gonna take away from your life at the end of it. You're gonna take away happy memories and uh, joy and, and watching your family grow and, and raising and nurturing your children. And um, we just wanna find a, a place that allows us the space to focus on those things. We don't have any family here no. either. So other than our friends that we call family, we don't have like blood relatives here, so it's a little easier for us to just go, you know what, let's try somewhere else. Let's yeah. have a bit more space. LA is still very much city living, even if you're lucky like we are and, and we have a home and a garden, it's still, you know, you're not living in the countryside or you're not living, yeah. we don't live by the beach, you know, we're, yeah. not, we're not really beach people. No. You know, our last name's beach. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's as beach as we get. Yeah, it's as beach as you can get really, isn't it? <laughs> the journey's just beginning for our family and I think even though it feels insane to... It doesn't feel that insane to me, but I think... I, on paper... I it, moved here from England okay, with but, two bags. Yes. And now I'm leaving LA with like a hundred boxes. But you were like boxes. a single guy with like no obligations and responsibilities, really. I think if you list on paper, like we're packing up a toddler and a four or five bedroom house and hitting the road to drive to an unknown really destination to, to move there in the midst of a pandemic, it sounds kind of crazy. Yeah, but if you think of it like that, you're just gonna get scared. You look crazy as you talk about it. <laughs> I'm fine. I did have a meltdown a couple of days ago and it wasn't about sadness or concern about leaving LA. It was more about what this next chapter, what I want this next chapter to mean for me and for us as a family yeah. and being fearful no, that- It's all right, you gotta have a little bit of, I'm a weirdo. I don't really stress out about no, stuff No, he's like, like the- 
the only human being I've ever met that like genuinely does not worry, just walks through life without a worry in the world. Why are you saying sorry? We're sorry for pulling me off my chair already. Oh. I am like a worry word and anxiety ridden human by nature. And as you can tell, it's like chaos here all the time. So trying to figure everything out with a toddler who does not stop is a little bit stressful for sure, but we're doing it. Why not try somewhere new? Whoa! Where are we going? What? Let's give some clues. Okay, How we'll give you going? clues. Okay. Cowboy boots for Sinead. Music for all of us, but you. What do you mean? Because you music love music. From, no, they're going to think I'm going to be doing music. He's not going to be doing music probably again. Gonna be doing probably going to be doing music. Gonna but if I did do music. music there, it would probably sound a lot like... It would be a, a good like, city to do it in. And it would sound a lot like Kings of Leon, probably. Yes, it would. Uh, we're going to... Nashville. Nashville! We visited Nashville for the first time on our first wedding anniversary. Probably. Right? Yeah, yeah, it was our first wedding anniversary trip, Sounds celebration. About right. Fell in love with it. Wanted to move there back then. Didn't. We actually don't even have a, a home yet. We're, we're hitting the road in, in search of one and <laughs> there's a lot of bubble wrap <laughs> everywhere. It's real. It's real. Goodbyes are happening this week. Um, we're saying goodbye to this city that we've called home for a long time this week. And I'm back. You're Hello. back. The video's been a little bit all over the place. But okay. at point number one. Yeah. We are moving. Yes. We're we are leaving, leaving LA. LA. We're sad about it, but also excited. Very. High five. We, ah. we like felt, you know, we had Bowie here. We fell in love with the city. You yeah. wanted to leave actually before I met you. Then mm -hmm. you fell back in love with it. it. Took me a couple of years. Fell in love with it. Some of my best mates are here. Mm -hmm. Next bullet point is. We're going to Nashville. We're going to Nashville. Cause Sinead wants to wear cowboy boots and also Nashville is <laughs> sick. I may or may not start a band that sounds like Kings of Leon and Johnny Cash with an English guy in it. And, and I may, may or may not start riding horses and have a garden. That's definitely happening. Sinead's gonna have I'm really horses, excited. I'm gonna ride dirt bikes, Bowie's gonna do both at the same time. We're gonna be able to have a dream home and a dream lifestyle for Bowie to grow up in. She is so happy just rolling around in dirt and being outside, and there's gonna be a lot more space for her to do that. We're gonna be way closer to family. Sinead's family's only an hour and a half flight. My family's like six and a half, seven hours on a good flight. Yeah. Um, we're going to be closer to New York, which is where we met. So we're sort of heading, we're heading east. We're heading back. Yeah, we're back. heading back towards home. Yeah, but we're not tapping out yet. No, not just yet. We got our citizenships at the end of last year. So we are still... We brought a Ford pickup truck this year. Yeah, we're, we're living the American dream. <laughs> and yeah, we're like, let's go for American dream. Let's do it. Yeah. LA is definitely a huge part of who I am today and definitely a huge, huge part of you are and I'm so thankful to LA and the people here because yeah. it's been home. I've got a fucking vote on my t-shirt. sinead has got Save, Save the, the fucking, fucking planet. planet on there. Modern American. Nashville's a really progressive city mm -hmm. and we're excited to be part of that, part of that movement. Part, and part of the of change. change. We can't tell you who to vote for, but we can encourage you to go out and vote. Let your voice be heard. Be part of the change. Be a part of the change and progress that is so desperately needed. Guys, bow's over me being in the video. Oh, my mic's off. <gasps> Okay, Bowie is over the video happening, so her and Josh have now gone to go and read a book. I'm gonna wrap things up on my own, but I promise there is lots of more family content to come because we are going on the journey of a lifetime and we really wanna bring you guys with us. We're gonna be vlogging the road trip across the country and all the mayhem that I am sure is to ensue. We're gonna be bringing you guys into our journey of finding our new home and settling into our new surroundings. It's gonna be crazy and we would love, love, love Love to have you a part of all of the madness with us as always so make sure you're subscribed to the channel click the bell to be notified every time we drop a new video and don't forget to vote do not forget to vote guys i'll leave a link down in the video description to make sure that you are registered it's so important that is going to be one of the first things that we do when we land in our new home state we so appreciate you guys for watching if you liked this chaotic insane announcement video then give it a thumbs up um, again i apologize for how insane it is but we always want to show you guys exactly what's going on in our lives and this is it it's absolute madness right now but we are days away from hitting the road and saying goodbye to 
to LA once and for all. It's, it's going to be a very bittersweet goodbye, lots of exciting things ahead. And honestly, I've been so busy that I really haven't had time to fully process how emotional it's going to be to say goodbye to this place. Um, but yeah, LA, you've been really, really, really good to me and I'm going to miss you. I will always, always have a corner of my heart saved for Los Angeles. And I know Josh will too. I can definitely speak for him when I say that. And, um, yeah, we're just grateful to all of you for watching and supporting our family on every twist and turn that has come in our lives. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We love you and we will see you in the next video.